this can allow us to fly in lower wind conditions than usual. For instance, here, we typically need at least 15 kilometers per hour of wind to fly. But with fog, we could fly with winds as low as 12 or 13 kilometers per hour. Now, as I'm flying above this fog layer, the conditions are calm. Visibility is sufficient, and the lift is steady. I can see some paragliders disappearing into the horizon due to the fog. To ensure safety, I adjust my flight path to maintain visibility of others and ensure they can also see me. Visibility is critical when flying near others. At this point, I was emphasizing that I was flying in very light fog, which is safe as long as visibility is maintained. However, flying in dense fog or fog with a very low ceiling is not safe. Similarly, I don't recommend flying under cumulonimbus clouds, large storm clouds, or nimbostratus clouds, which bring rain and storms. These are extremely dangerous. If there's heavy cloud cover, the safest action is to land immediately. Flying under small cumulus clouds is generally acceptable. In fact, we often do this when flying thermals. It's even possible to enter cumulus clouds, but only under certain conditions. You must be flying alone, with no one nearby, as entering a cloud alongside others could result in a collision due to a lack of visibility. The flight area must also be free of obstacles such as mountains or cliffs to avoid crashes. While entering small cumulus clouds isn't entirely legal, as paraglider pilots are required to maintain visibility, it is a common practice among many pilots. However, I reiterate that this is not a recommendation. Flying inside a cloud is generally unsafe due to the loss of visibility. In Miraflores, we often fly in light fog because we have ground support monitoring conditions. A ground supervisor evaluates the density of the fog and regulates the number of pilots allowed in the air. If the fog becomes dense, only one pilot may be allowed to fly. When the fog is light with a high ceiling, there may be no limit to the number of pilots. That's all for this video on flying in fog. I hope you found it helpful and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.